At least uh, once a day, I want to put on a map where we are, latitude, longitude, to see uh, progression, and we never know if everything uh, breaks. We will be able to follow it. By uh, after that, we do that by uh, speed, time, and cap, and more or less, you can imagine where we are. I'm finishing up my shift. It's already the sunrise. I would say maybe 5 a.m. This night was easy for me. Plus, I get entertained. As we've been sailing the Atlantic Ocean since five days, we still have some weather we got at the beginning, but it's not as accurate as it might be. And it was still darkness, and we see, I see that uh, we are facing a ship. I see the white light on the back and in the front, so it might be a cargo big ship. And uh, I woke up Jack and I said, listen, let's uh, contact them by VHF and ask the weather. He said, okay. So we contact them, they answered right away. And we asked the weather, he said, okay, no problem, give me five seconds. Like 30 seconds uh, after he called us back and Jack said, listen to me. Listen, the way he speaks, I'm sure he speaks Russian, but the accent, I even didn't hear it. And uh, he he called that right away and we said oh listen I'm sorry do you speak Russian he said yes I do speak Russian so Jack gave me the chef we talk a little bit Russian he said oh you should have told me from the beginning and we start talking a little bit and uh, he explained again the weather everything is fine keep going so we're almost in the middle of Atlantic Ocean we <laughs> pass a ship with a Russian person on the board plus me I speak Russian my love you remember what's the day today yes it's a double day today yeah today is uh, June 1st and that's exactly one year since we started off our trip from Florida. So it's our little anniversary. And plus, it's been exactly a week we've been sailing across the Atlantic. So it, we have a double anniversary today. Condition is not so bad, so it's a good time to organize a good dinner. You have uh, any particular dish on your mind? Yes, uh, I would like a big, big uh, plate of wind. <laughs> well, that I cannot cook for you, but what about crepes? I was thinking about crepes, we both like them. It's a very good idea, I will Can love it. Sauce? Yeah. Yeah. Sauce and sauce? Yeah. And, um, yeah, what do you think about living a life aboard? Would you like to extend it? Yeah, I love it. I love to cross. It's the first time uh, a so long leg and first time crossing uh, ocean. And I really love it uh, to be uh, middle of water since one week now. For me, it's uh, what I expect. We, I love it. It's very nice. I feel, I feel good. Uh, the only worry it is about wind and we miss wind. Uh, all people said uh, crossing uh, Atlantic west to east, uh, be careful about uh, bad wind, depression. But for now, we have to be careful about no wind. No wind, yeah, yeah, that's something else. But in general, uh, what what you like? What you like about living aboard? Well, first, it was my dream since long time, and I really appreciate it. Is exactly what I uh, expect. Uh, it is absolutely beautiful uh, to see different uh, islands, uh, different uh, culture, and uh, we really, I really wish uh, we will be able to continue uh, for years like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Me 
too. I appreciate this life. It's it's very special. To be honest, at the beginning, it was hard for me to adjust to this life because everything is different. Whatever you do, whatever you touch, uh, whatever things are, everything is different. But now that's my home. That's my way. That's my life. I appreciate every single moment. I would like to continue. This is a historical moment for us as we made a halfway. 1300 miles is behind and the same number is in the front. Since few days we've been sailing having about 12-13 knots of wind, so it's pretty good speed and the wind direction is uh, exactly what we need. Yeah, we have uh, uh, 40 knots wind about and uh, wind is coming in uh, 140 degrees so it's very comfortable uh, it's not so so fast but it's okay uh, the first uh, half we have few days without wind well, even one day we were an engine 23 hours on the one 24 hours so I was a little bit scared about this situation uh, and we don't know where is the wind we don't have uh, any more any weather and by chance uh, we got the wind finally. <laughs> it was long, yeah. long, and now we just hope it's gonna be like that to the end. It will be uh, absolutely amazing. And yeah. in this case, uh, we're gonna spend uh, less time than the first half. And normally, as we are more north, we can uh, expect to have more wind. Normally. Yeah. Yeah, about food, I think we were uh, well organized, right? We still have some fresh vegetables and fruits and every day we are having fresh bread. Uh, over time, I think our bodies get used to this rhythm and I feel this navigation is comfortable. Of course, when you, it's way we all the time. When you carry things, you keep it in one hand and you keep the other hand free to hold yourself but I think it became like natural right you don't even mention it it's kind of part of life and you live this way yeah that, that's true let, let you down but I know that I was not always around I made you feel feel alone so that's the third time we installed the whisker port uh, the wind is coming from uh, from the rear, so of course we need to use it. Means the main sail on one side and the one on the other side. And uh, step by step, I found a better setup, better way to to put it at the beginning. And uh, it's not perfect. Uh, we have to to make it better, to add some uh, poly for the. It's not perfect yet, but uh, it's working well. You spent most of your nights just sitting on your own. I should have done so much more. Huh? That's the package from USA? That's from Patrick! Thank you, Patrick, so much! I have no any idea how you caught us here in the middle of the Atlantic. But thank you very much. This is uh, a new equipment for us to film our episodes. And partially this episode and our future episodes will be filmed using this equipment. So if you guys mention some uh, changes, if you like it, let us know in the comments. And uh, I think I'm gonna start using it right away. Try 
I have just woke up, get ready for my shift. We've got a very good warm breakfast together and like a minute ago wind started building up. So Jacques went upstairs again. He's changing the setup for everything to see the force of the wind and the speed. And now we are pretty north so nights are pretty cold. We need to wear our jackets plus pants plus boots all the time. Nights are, I would say, hard to, to pass, but even during the day we need to wear them. But everything else is fine. We keep sailing. Uh, for last few days we haven't got much wind, so we were kind of slow. But now it's building up again and normally we're gonna fit our plan. What if I said I'm sorry? What if I'd make a scene? Wouldn't that make you mine again? You all I'll ever need. Didn't I make you laugh? Didn't I make you smile? Didn't I make you feel like you were happy for a while? I know that I've done so many things to let you down But I hope that you give me one more chance to make you mine When I close, close my eyes You know that you're the only thing I see And it makes, makes me cry To think that you are no longer with me So you've been asking for a wind and now we have too much wind, right? Yeah, we can see that. We have uh, 25 knots, uh, gust uh, 30 knots. Now we have about, uh, we have two reefs and uh, Genoa rolled. Uh, it's okay. I try to make uh, some vacation for automatic pilots. We're gonna share both. And this night we got uh, 26 knots uh, gust, but with one reef and Genoa was just a little bit wrong and we got a 30 knot speed of the boat it was wow <laughs> that uh, our best with Jerica what if I said I'm sorry what if I said I'm sorry? Whoa, 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 whoa. What if I said I'm sorry? What if I said I'm sorry? What if I said I'm sorry? What if I make a scene? It is the 19th day of our sailing across the Atlantic Ocean. We have about 20 more miles to do to reach Azores. That's why I'm sitting here waiting for the first shapes of the mountain. We actually see them already behind two of them and they're pretty high and beautiful. We've been motoring since two days. No wind. We even added extra 40 liters of diesel in a tank to keep moving. We've seen different conditions, different weather. Once we've got 30 knots of wind, boat was like this, plus moving like this for a couple of days. I cannot say I was scared as I'm absolutely confident with my husband. He knows what he's doing, I trust him, but I was awake. The time gone super fast for me. 
I have a feeling like we started maybe two days ago and it's been already almost three weeks. I've seen many new things. I learned a lot of stuff about sailing. I'm very happy with that. This navigation is very nice for me. Very nice crossing. If somebody asks me if I want to do it one more time, yes, but with my husband. After a very long navigation, like exactly the one we just done, once you get ashore, you cannot walk straight. So let's make a test. <laughs> but, but you know it's hard. Do you want to make a test? Didn't I make you feel like you were happy for a while?